Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be solving this question, the integral of x squared upon 1 plus x squared the whole cubed. And we'll be solving it by substitution. So let's begin. So first of all, we have the trigonometric identity. Sec square x minus tan square x is 1. Which means that sec square x, x has to be 1 plus tan square x. And we can observe that we have something similar in the denominator over here. We have 1 plus the variable squared. So if I place that variable as tan u, I would have dx by du, which becomes sec square u, and dx thus becomes secant square u into du. Let's replace all of this in the integral. So x is tan u, which means that x square is tan square u. And this becomes 1 plus tan square u, the whole cubed, into secant square u du, just substituting dx. And this becomes tan square u upon sec square u upon, sorry, the whole cube into sec square u du. Because 1 plus tan square x is sec square x and that applies to any angle. So 1 plus tan square u is sec square u. So one of the sec squares will get cancelled and this will become secant square u, the whole squared. So now I'm going to write all of this in the terms of sine and cos. We have tan which is sine by cos. So this is sine square u upon cos square u upon secant square is basically 1 upon cos square. So this becomes 1 upon cos raised to 4 because we have the square of the square. So this is the integral of sine square u upon cos square u. Taking this in the numerator, this becomes into cos raised to 4u du. Again, cancelling out the cos square, we would have sine square u into cos square u. And you can observe that we can write this as the integral of sine u into cos u the whole square. And this can also be written as the integral of sine of 2u upon 2 the whole squared because sine of 2u would be 2 sine u cos u. So the 2 and 2 would get cancelled. Let me write that down. Since sine 2u is 2 sine u cos u, sine 2u by 2 would be sine u cos u. So now we have the integral of sine 2u upon 2 the whole squared. So this becomes the integral of sine square, sorry, sine square 2u upon 4. We can take 1 by 4 outside because it's just a constant. And now we will be deriving how to, how to write sine square 2u in easier terms. So we know that if we had cos 2u, we could write that as cos square u minus sine square u. And using this identity sine square u plus cos square, cos square u is 1, we can substitute cos square as 1 minus sine square. So cos 2u would become 1 minus sine square u minus sine square u. So cos 2u becomes 1 minus 2 sine square u which means that 2 sine square u is 1 minus cos 2u. And thus sine square u could be written as 1 minus cos 2u upon 2. Now since we have sine square of 2u, both the angles over here get doubled. This becomes sine square 2u and this becomes 1 minus cos 4u. And this is what we will be substituting in our integral. So we have 1 minus cos 4u upon 2 du. Let's take 1 by 2 outside. So we have 1 by 8 and we have the integral of 1 minus cos 4u. So we know that the integral of 1 is u and the integral of cos is sine. So this would become 1 by 8 the into 
u minus sine of 4 u upon the coefficient of u which is 4 and you also have to add a constant now because there is no integral term left and now we are going to write everything back in the terms of x so we know that x is tan u which means that the tan inverse of x is u so we would have 1 by 8 tan inverse of x minus sine of let me write this in brackets 4 of tan inverse of x upon 4 and that's the final answer so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye